Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the third trimester. The third trimester starts about 28 weeks and lasts until the birth. Let's see the weight and size changes in the baby and pregnancy symptoms week by week in the third trimester. The links for the first and second trimester videos are provided in the description. At 28 weeks, baby is in the size of an eggplant. Putting on layers of fat, baby now measures about 14.8 inches from head to toe and weighs in around 2.2 pounds. Symptoms of 28 weeks pregnant As your body gets more and more crowded by your growing 28 week fetus, you might be noticing some new pregnancy symptoms. And these are common at this stage of the game. Trouble sleeping. As you get closer to your due date, you will likely to have more and more trouble getting sleep. It could be the hormones or nerves or both. Shortness of breath. Baby continues to crowd your lungs and diaphragm, making it tougher to catch your breath. Aches and pains. The third trimester can be really uncomfortable due to the hormone fluctuations. To deal, do yoga, stretch, swim, walk and get a prenatal massage. Braxton Hicks Contractions These practice contractions might be getting stronger and more noticeable or more frequent as your body gets ready for labor. Keep an eye out and be sure that the contractions are only occasional. If they are regular and continue getting closer together and do not stop when you switch positions, it could be a preterm labor and you should call the OB ASAP. Leaky breast. Your breast may already be producing the baby's first food, a yellowy substance called colostrum. Your OB will probably measure your 28 weeks pregnant belly at your prenatal appointment. This week, the fundal height, the distance from your pubic bone to the top of your uterus should be about 26 to 30 centimeters. Doctors recommend you to start doing kick counts at 28 weeks. You will be keeping tabs on how often the baby is moving and whether their movements are consistent from day to day. Now that you are 28 weeks pregnant, you will start seeing your OB twice per month. If your pregnancy has been uncomplicated, don't expect to get a 28 week ultrasound at this appointment. At 29 weeks, baby is in the size of an acorn squash. Your 29 week fetus already measures about 15.2 inches long and they weigh about 2.5 pounds. Symptoms of 29 weeks pregnant Headaches and lightheadedness You can get a headache if you are sleep deprived. But it could be from the low blood sugar too. So make sure you are eating at your regular intervals. Itchy belly Your skin is stretching thinner making it more sensitive. Lotion up and drink lots of water. Back leg or hip pain. Your body is carrying around extra weight all day and depending on baby's position, they are putting pressure on anything and everything. Plus your joints and ligaments are getting softer and more relaxed in preparation for delivery. All of that pressure can cause aches and pains all over. Hemorrhoids. Baby is putting pressure on your digestive system too. And those pesky hormones may be relaxing your intestinal muscles, causing uncomfortable hemorrhoids. Combat them by eating plenty of fiber and drinking lots of water. Constipation, trouble sleeping, and frequent urination. The more your uterus expands, the more you will be probably having to hit the restroom. This does not mean you should cut down on drinking water. Proper hydration is important for easing many 29 weeks pregnancy symptoms. It is also important for preventing preterm labor. You will notice the top of your uterus is about 3.5 to 4 inches above your belly button. Continue doing kick counts each day to make sure the baby's activity level seems pretty consistent. Baby should move 10 times within a span of 1 hour. If you are on a typical prenatal visit schedule, you probably don't have to see the doctor at 29 weeks of pregnancy, but you will go back around week 30. 
at 30 weeks baby is in the size of a zucchini you are 15.7 inch 2.9 pound 30 week fetus continues to grow about half a pound and half an inch each week symptoms of 30 weeks pregnant heartburn if you are feeling the burn pay attention to the food you are consuming often greasy heavy and spicy foods cause it avoid them as much as you can especially before bedtime trouble sleeping swelling a little puffiness is to be expected and will typically go down if you put your feet up for a while just know that the sudden or severe swelling can be a sign of a problem general discomfort shortness of breath baby is still up high near your rib cage during your pregnancy at 30 weeks but should drop down into your pelvis a little later in your pregnancy maybe as soon as week 33 or 34 during pregnancy at 30 weeks baby's position is head down your 30 week fetus is floating comfortably in about 1 and 1/2 pints of amniotic fluid over the upcoming weeks your belly will grow even further past your rib cage to accommodate the baby but they will still get a little more crowded as you approach your due date if you have an uncomplicated pregnancy you probably won't have a 30 weeks pregnancy ultrasound at 31 weeks baby is as big as a bunch of asparagus baby is about 16.2 inches long and weighs about 3.3 pounds symptoms of 31 weeks pregnant as symptoms from the previous weeks continues new symptoms like frequent urination back aches and dry brittle nails starts women who have pregnancy complications such as gestational diabetes or who are 31 weeks pregnant with twins may have a 31 weeks pregnant ultrasound to check in on baby but if that's not you you're off the hook this week some curious parents to be choose to have a 3d or 4d ultrasound done later in the pregnancy but usually between weeks 24 to 32 in a 3d or 4d ultrasound you can see the entire surface of the baby's face in one picture your 32 week fetus is as big as a squash still growing strong baby measures about 16.7 inches and weighs in about 3.8 pounds at 32 weeks pregnant symptoms of 32 weeks pregnant as most of the symptoms are seen in the previous weeks the new symptoms seen in the 32 weeks pregnant are darker nipples and vaginal discharge darker nipples areolas look darker than usual the exact reason is unknown but one theory is that they darken so the baby can see them better for breastfeeding vaginal discharge the increased discharge is your body's way of preparing for the delivery it prevents infection down there keep your eye out for the mucus plug this thick substance covers the cervix until a few days before labor when your body expels it another thing to keep an eye on the discharge that seems more like a watery liquid if you're having a constant flow that's more like water than discharge your water might be broken causing a slow leak if that's the case call the ob and get to the hospital stat sometime between now and around week 34 baby will drop from up near your ribs to down near your pelvis where they will hang out in a head down position until delivery when this happens you may notice you suddenly go from carrying high to carrying low you probably won't have a 32 weeks pregnant ultrasound unless you have any pregnancy complications at 33 weeks the fetus is as big as a head of celery they weigh about 4.2 pounds and measures about 17.2 inches symptoms of 33 weeks pregnant overheating and this is due to the increased metabolic rate headaches hormones fluctuating at 33 weeks can cause headaches 
shortness of breath forgetfulness and clumsiness this is an unproven phenomena also known as baby brain a 33 weeks pregnant ultrasound might be done as a part of a biophysical profile this test is done in the third trimester for the high risk patients and after 40 weeks for the women who go past their due dates the ultrasound will gauge your 33 week fetal movements breathing muscle tone and amount of amniotic fluid the other part of the biophysical profile the non stress test will measure how the baby's heart rate changes when they move or you have contractions at 34 weeks fetus is in the size of a butternut squash baby weights in about 4.7 pounds and measures about 17.7 inches Symptoms of 34 weeks pregnant. New symptoms like blurry vision, fatigue and abdominal pressure starts. Blurry vision. A combination of hormones, fluid build up and lack of sleep may make your vision seem a little off. Sometimes it's just a normal temporary pregnancy symptom. But if your blurry vision is accompanied by swelling, headache, rapid weight gain, It could be a sign of preeclampsia. Fatigue. It's exhausting carrying around all that extra weight. Abdominal pressure. As baby prepares for arrival and settles down lower, you might feel pressure in your pelvis and even more frequent urination. At 35 weeks, the fetus is as big as a pineapple. The fetus measures about 18.2 inches. from head to toe heel and weighs about 5.3 pounds the symptoms of 35 weeks pregnant are similar to the previous weeks water breaking painful and regular contractions or the actual signs of labor at 36 weeks the fetus is as big as a papaya measuring about 18.7 inches from crown to heel and weighing about 5.8 pounds symptoms of 36 weeks pregnant better ability to breathe as baby descends into your pelvis your lungs will have more space and you will be able to breathe more deeply pelvic discomfort as baby descends down putting more pressure on your pelvis trouble sleeping heartburn swollen ankles and feet changes in vaginal discharge at 36 weeks pregnant discharge may increase as your body gets ready itself for birth but look out for the watery discharge blood or mucus like or blood tinged discharge which could be a mucus plug losing the mucus plug is a sign that the labor is very near Braxton Hicks contractions At your week 36 prenatal appointment your OB may check for the baby's position At this point baby should already be in the head down position If not they are considered breech There's a chance that the baby will turn naturally or your OB may want to do a version procedure for the breech baby A version is an attempt to turn the baby by pushing or lifting your pregnant belly it's a low risk procedure and it works more than half of the time you will have a 36 week pregnant ultrasound so that the doctor can clearly see the baby's position and the location of the placenta ultrasound will also be used during the procedure to guide the doctor's movements the baby's heart rate will be monitored before and after and possibly even during the version to make sure all seems well You will get a group B strep test around week 36 of your pregnancy. This is a test to see if you have a common bacterium called group B strep in your body. If you do, you might not even notice it or it may cause a problem such as UTI. For baby though, the bacteria could cause more severe problems and could even be life threatening. About 10 to 30% of pregnant women test positive for group B. 
You will need an antibiotic drip during the labor to significantly reduce the chance of transmitting the bacteria to the baby. At 37 weeks, the fetus is in the size of a head of romaine lettuce. The baby measures about 19.1 inches and weighs about 6.3 pounds. Symptoms of 37 weeks pregnant Heartburn Spotting a little bit of spotting is normal at week 37 of pregnancy. Stretch marks. New stretch marks might appear on your 37 weeks pregnant belly. Abdominal pressure. Trouble sleeping. Contractions. At 37 weeks, cramping or contractions are to be expected. After all, you are going to have a baby soon. Nausea. You will go into the labor soon if you notice these symptoms of labor at 37 weeks and those include mucus plug or bloody show, nausea, diarrhea. And these are the signs that the labor is here and those include water breaking, regular contractions and back pain. A 37 week ultrasound might be performed as a part of biophysical profile. The profile is designed to gauge baby's well-being using the ultrasound and the results of a non-stress test. At 38 weeks, the fetus is as big as a winter melon. The baby is about 19.6 inches long and their head is about the same circumference as their abdomen. The average baby weight is about 6.8 pounds. At 38 weeks, a new symptom anxiety starts. At 38 weeks, signs of labor may begin. Some early signs you will go into a labor soon include mucus plug or bloody show, diarrhea, nausea, contractions, back pain and water breaking. From now on, you will see the OB weekly. At this weekly appointment, your doctor will check that the baby is in head down position and to see if the head has moved down into your pelvis. Also get ready for an pelvic exam where your cervix will be checked for dilation and effacement. Both signs your body is readying for the labor. At 39 weeks, the fetus is as big as a pumpkin. Your 39 week fetus measures about 20 inches long and weighs about 7.3 pounds. Symptoms of 39 weeks pregnant Other than Braxton Hicks contractions and pelvic pressure, some other symptoms starts and those include Lightning scratch Because baby is so low, their movements can hit some sensitive nerves, giving you sharp sensation in your pelvis and vagina. Urge to nest and mucus plunk and bloody show. Water breaking and regular contractions are the signs of labor. At 40 weeks, the fetus is in the size of a watermelon. The average full term 40 week fetus measures about 20.2 inches from crown to heel and weighs about 7.6 pounds. The symptoms of the 40 weeks pregnant is same as the previous weeks. At 41 weeks, the fetus is as big as a watermelon. The average 41 week fetus measures about 20.4 inches long and weighs about 7.9 pounds. And these are the symptoms of 41 weeks pregnant. If you choose to have a labor induced at 41 weeks, there are several ways it can be done and those include stripping membranes, artificial rupture of membranes and medications. At 42 weeks, the fetus is in the size of a watermelon, a bigger watermelon than the last week. The average 42 week fetus measures about 20.3 inches and weighs about 8.1 pounds. The 42 week pregnant symptoms are probably the same as the past few weeks. The signs of labor at 42 weeks are mucus plug and bloody show, water breaking 
and regular contractions. Because at 42 weeks pregnant risks increase, your doctor may recommend a medical labor induction if the tests show it isn't safe for the baby to stay in utero much longer. Ways your doctor can induce the labor are stripping the membranes, breaking your water, ripening your cervix, stimulating the contractions. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys like this video and please do like, share and subscribe.